What's up, y'all? This is Frank Etheridge, editor of Electric City. I'm here at the Heritage Art Center downtown in Stewart District, uh, 2nd Avenue, what, 7th Street, 6th Street? 6th. 6th Street, yeah. Um, and I'm here with art, artist Christine Cannon. How yes. are you? Good, how are you? How are you? I'm pretty good. Um, I'm excited to be here for the, uh, your show. It's going to be the debut show at the Heritage Art Center. Um, and it's opening this Saturday on November 27th, and it's called uh, Electro Week Epoch. Epic. Epic. Yeah. Electro Week Epic. What, yes. Yeah, the one thing I was curious about your art, uh, we'll get to that in a second, but it's interesting. What, break down the title of the show, what, what that means exactly. I mean. Okay, so, um, so I'm not a scientist, um, but so in, um, in the kind of expansion of our universe, right, there was this moment where these two forces that were a singular force split off and became two separate forces. And so I was kind of thinking of my show like that, right? I have these two bodies of work. One that is um, very playful and robotic, but there's also this sort of um, kind of living quality to them. And then there's another side of it, the, the epic side. And the word epic really means kind of a, a, a moment of importance. Um, and that's the totem show. So those are all based off of sort of transitionary moments in my life where um, the artwork has kind of divided. And so I was thinking of this as one show and two. And so that's why the name came up. Interesting, so with the two shows being um, both here and one thing I was curious about your um, your artwork is really interesting. It's very vivid. I'm assuming it's acrylic paint on canvas, but it's um, it's almost like a joyful joyful dystopia. Yes. Like you got like you got like really colorful death imagery. Like the one that comes to mind is you have the skull with the pink red ones yeah. on. Yeah. Um, where do these images come from? Where, I mean, I think they come from just like everyday life, right? Like they come from the world around me. Um, and that's kind of the dynamic quality of the world we live in. It's both beautiful and vibrant and also horrifying at times, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so my work sort of is a combination of those things. Duality. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very cool. Um, the full spectrum. Yeah, interesting. Um, what, uh, what, what effect do you hope to have on uh, viewers or people that look at your art? What, like, how does that translate to them? What they, because it always like kind of stunned and a little bit scared, but like sort of, like I said, it's kind of funny too. Joyful. Yeah, they're supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be vibrant. It's supposed to be, um, you know, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, what is that saying? You catch more flies with honey, right? Mm -hmm. Like, right, yeah. um, so there are topics that are uncomfortable in my work occasionally, but hopefully I can bridge that gap with that sort of joyful experience that you gather when you come across artworks sort of like mine that is playful and vibrant and bright. Um, and there's a lot of popular culture mixed in there too. Um, so, I mean, ultimately, I do hope that people encounter my work and they have that sort of, you know, joyful discovery moment, mm -hmm. but, um, but I do hope that they also leave thinking a little bit about our current society um, and the things that we could do to just make life easier on each other. Hmm. What are some of those difficult things that you understand? <laughs> so, um, there, some of them are kind of cheeky, right? Like, um, so there's one that I've done called Pig in a Poke, and it's, um, it's actually the Piggly Wiggly Head, because um, that's a southern thing here. And oh, yeah. Pig in a Poke is the southern saying. It's like um, when you buy something sight unseen. You don't oh, know yeah. if it's gonna be good or bad, right? right. And, um, and during, you know, during the pandemic, I was just thinking about all of these people that work minimum wage jobs with no access to health care, and they have to go out and risk their health and safety and the health and safety of their loved ones, and they're deemed essential, but they get no compensation, no benefits. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, that's kind of the serious undertone, but at the same time, it's this absolutely ridiculous glowing of the pig, so. <laughs> yeah, gotta keep the pork and the chicken flowing. Right, you know? yeah, um, yeah. So, anyway, well, um, really excited to see your show. Um, with it, there's a, cats and robots are sort of being yes. cool, it seems like. Yeah, um, paint what you love, right? Paint, paint what you love. Yeah, so. very cool. Um, the show, okay, like I said, coming up on, uh, there's an opening reception uh, Saturday the 27th, and it's going to be up for a week here. Uh, yes. Closing reception uh, Saturday, December 4th. Um, Kristen Cannon, Cannon Arts, uh, social media and online, if y'all want to check it out, or come down here and see the new um, Heritage Arts, not new, but uh, totally revamped and uh, ready for business Heritage Arts Center. So, Christine, thank you very much. Thank you.